action from Dwight Howard. I'm going to make Nick Young shoot the ball if I can. Duran on the drive, slices inside, offensive foul. James is there, like as I said, very, very close play, especially in real time. But I do believe that James was there prior to the upward motion of the shot. Hill misses, rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out, throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And we'll go to hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm Jerry. What's up, guys? That's JP. What it do? That's been a while. Los right here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Can't do it on here. And uh, today we're going to talk about the NBA playoffs. Uh, yes, we're recording this before the actual playoff seating is done. Correct. But we pretty much have a picture of who's going to be in the playoffs. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the East. Since that's the one that has a little bit more of who's going to be the eighth seed because we don't know yet. And also uh, the seeding there is pretty much, I think it's pretty much said, no? Oh, no, that's the Western Conference. And, no. The, and, but, the we're, but anyways, we're going to talk about all that right now. So, yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to let you guys take it over right here. Oh, okay. Well, we know for the East. Uh, the best team in the NBA has been Milwaukee Bucks. They have the best record in the NBA right now. Number the two, Greek Toronto. Freak. The Greek yeah. Freak. And you have Toronto Raptors being number two. You have Philly Kawhi. being the third seed. You have Boston being the fourth seed. You have Indy being the fifth seed. And then the sixth seed, you have Brooklyn Nets, which surprised they just clinched it today. Um, Orlando Magic uh, are the seventh seed. And of course, it's a toss up on the eighth seed between Charlotte Hornets and Detroit Pistons. But throw points. I'm pretty sure Detroit's going to make it. And Miami. Uh, <laughs> Miami got. So, uh, looking here at this uh, playoff picture, uh, the seeding, whoever faces Milwaukee in the first round, whether it be Detroit, Charlotte, or if Miami even makes it miraculously. Uh, Fucking gonna, Space Jam Squad. What's that Space Jam Squad squad? Uh, no matter the, the, who it is. Yeah, no matter the, the uh, two. Nah, it's Earth. Like, Earth. Nah, it was, I forgot the, with the, 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 the Monster Squad or something the like monsters? that. Well, the monsters. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like the monsters yeah, like that. Can't I beat the Greek freak, baby. I don't. I don't, do. I don't see no upset here. I I think Milwaukee's gonna fly by whoever's on the eighth eighth round. And then I think that crowd at Milwaukee, mm. they fucking love their Bucks, man. And so they're gonna go fucking crazy. I um, wouldn't bring up Milwaukee's fans as like. The deciding factor, but have you have you seen them in the playoffs? Like their crowd gets louder than Buster's. Like they're fucking loud. <laughs> I they're guess probably one of the best crowds in the playoffs uh, in the NBA. So I, I don't. So, see so, you, don't, so well, you don't. You don't see anybody from Detroit, Charlotte, or Miami even giving Milwaukee a chance. Like I the way way. No, that's it. It's gonna be the way way. It's gonna be the way. I mean, not even Dwayne Wade's last dance, but I, yeah, I don't yeah. think he's in a even, even, even Dwayne Wade, even if Dwayne Wade was in his prime, I don't he did it in Dallas that was just, by himself. Now he did it in Dallas team. by himself. I mean, outside of Miami, <laughs> uh, outside of uh, Miami, uh, outside of Miami, like they only have one star really, mm -hmm. which is Whiteside, and uh, I don't really see Whiteside. Why you? I mean, you I mean, they racist. have. A, <laughs> no, I'm just, mess, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> outside of Whiteside, uh, yeah. I don't see Miami doing anything. Charlotte, Kimba. Outside of Kimba, who they got? Uh, Detroit is the one. That's all you need is Kimba. He's Blake the new Griffin, Dwayne Wade. Oh Andre Drummond. Do it by himself. I, <laughs> I think Detroit Pistons will get a good fight, but I think Milwaukee has too much depth, and they're too lengthy. And what I mean by that is they can defend all positions and they can switch all day. All right, all right. Milwaukee I just think they're gonna. Table. Yeah, it's, than it's a four game <laughs> sweep. And then we have Toronto versus Orlando Magic. Now this can change. It can be against the Brooklyn Nets. There's uh, about two games left in in, in the season, mm -hmm. so this can switch between Orlando and Magic. Whoever wins or wins or loses, um, my feeling is it's going to be Orlando. Orlando is an up and coming team. A lot of young stars. Well, I wouldn't say stars. I would say a lot of young talent. Mm -hmm. And um, but I Kawhi Leonard. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. I mean, uh, that that long ass name. Shout out to Leo from Canada. He, he's gonna be chained on his team. Uh, he might be, he might be here around that time. Um, I just don't. I don't see the Orlando doing anything one and done as well. Probably one game, win one game at home, maybe. But I still think it's gonna be four and done. What do you think, Los? You think Orlando's gonna? Play? I agree. I mean, I just I don't see them doing anything. Now here's where we get a little bit dicey. It's Philly. Philadelphia 76ers versus Brooklyn Nets right now as the season stands. And I think that's going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. I don't... I think Brooklyn will win two games. Okay. I 
think they can make a surprise upset because I really do like their squad. I really like D'Lo. Um, he was a surprise. Basically, Magic Johnson was stupid in giving him away, even though he was a snitch. But, I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, bro, a snitch is a I snitch. I mean, I get it. I mean, he, should, he actually had to get rid of one or the other, and I would have got rid of Swaggy P, really? Swaggy Trash. I would have got a Swaggy, mean, Swaggy Trash. Swaggy P got a championship ring. Yeah. Do it sitting on his ass like David Carr won a championship with Eli Manning. Hey, he got Carr's it. A he got it. Whatever. Dude, how many hey, does hey, Harden have? And they always put it on David Carr's freaking shit. Two time NFL <laughs> champion. I'm like, man, I need to shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> but not but uh, uh, what's the uh, Philly Center's name? The the um, the weak ass guy. The weak ass guy. And B Joel and B. Oh, Joel, man. This motherfucker, I've seen yeah. too much evidence of him just being a pushover, just not being that dominant center that he's been hyped up to be. I'm not um, saying I, I I say he's been dominant. I would just say he's injury prone. Up the no, fucking ass. You need you need that X, that that tenacity, which I don't think he has. He's too soft, and I, I don't I don't think. I mean, okay, yeah, they're gonna be Brooklyn. I'm not saying they're gonna lose that series. But once they start facing stiffer competition, uh, you know, in that next round, yeah, you know, yeah. against that that team up now, yeah, now I, I don't think I don't think they well, got I don't think we'll they got what it takes, but yeah, because I, I will say this, uh, Joel Embiid, I think he's a good center, a great center. Mm -hmm. He reminds me a lot of Yao Ming. He's just more athletic, uh, and the reason I say Yao Ming, let me, let me, yeah, let me say <laughs> why. You're right. He's let me say why. Yao, Yao Ming Yao didn't have no fucking. Yeah, no, I mean, fucking, uh, no that's not what I mean. Though. Embiid ain't got it. No, Embiid that's not what I mean. It. Yeah, I mean, getting pushed around. Just Yao was got pushed around. Oh, seven foot motherfucker getting pushed around. <laughs> Embiid's just the same as well. I felt like will cause a lot of, uh, of of things to occur, and the same thing goes for Joel Embiid. It's injuries, like his <laughs> his injuries have been very quick and spontaneous, and it damages the team. And the same thing goes for Yao Ming. It just, it all relies on, that's the X factor, injuries mm -hmm. for Philly. I think Philadelphia can go to the conference finals, but they need to be healthy. I okay. think the X factor is how many times a beat is going to get blocked, because Greek Freak blocked, blocked him four times in one game. I mean, and this is your center, getting blocked. Like, I don't know, man. Hey, man, Hakeem Olajuwon like Al got blocked several times, and he still it's wants to be so I so I don't know. Now, uh, I think the, the middle right here, which... It could be an upset as well. It's Indiana Pacers versus Boston Celtics. Now, the Boston Celtics have a shitload of fucking talent. But as we've seen this season, talent doesn't mean wins. They, I feel like Boston should have been number one. The talent that they have makes them number one on paper. Yeah. But talent doesn't make a great team, unfortunately. And you can tell by them being the fourth seed. Now, they just made it in the fourth seed. They were, they were falling lower, but they, they started winning, putting some wins together. So if this is going to reflect, maybe they can get it together, have a meeting, discuss. Because I feel like a lot of it hinges on Kyrie Irving's and his little attitude. I feel like he's a little diva sometimes. And, I mean, come on, bro. Really, like, all the shit that he's done this season, like, calling out players, like, oh, I wish I was with LeBron, all this fucking bullshit. Like, dude, focus Amen. on the season and try Amen. to win a championship. You left LeBron to win a championship on your own. Amen. This is the perfect yeah. chance. He has you leave the greatest. Yeah, hey, he has a talent, and there's no excuse. I feel like Boston should at least be <laughs> at least in the conference finals. Yeah. But if Boston doesn't get it together and they don't play, they can't lose to Indiana. Because Indiana, even though they lost to Old Depot, they still won 47 games. Okay. They ain't a pushover. So I feel like nah, there's an ups in the making there too. Nah, not at all. I think uh, it's a whole new season. Whatever's happened in the regular season's happened. They're yeah. in the playoffs. They're uh, you know clean their spot. And I think it's a fresh start for them. I yeah. think Kyrie Irving, when the going gets tough and they need that, those that, that two bucket. minutes, yeah, that bucket, he he's got it. Ain't no doubt about it. So I mean, uh, you agree I with worried. me? They should be number one. They should have been number one. They should. The they talent really should. is just too good. But I mean, uh, you know, granted, you know, he last year he was injured all year. Um, and this year is really his first time getting to play with these guys like a full season. So uh, people always expect uh, teams to, like players to go to, to like gel automatically that first game of the season. I think that's not the case. I think it's taking them time to gel throughout the season, and I yeah. think they're clicking that's right a good now. Point. And I think they're gonna yeah, I think they're gonna whoop on Indiana. 
And if I was Milwaukee, I'd be afraid. Shit, I don't want to face Boston in the playoffs. Whoever the hell it is, um, I wouldn't want to face Boston. So, it, you know, all in all, you know, right after this, we got Milwaukee, Milwaukee and Boston. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my prediction. Uh, what, 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 what do you think? Well, yeah, I see the same thing. I, I think uh, the top four seeded teams are going to beat the five through eight easily. Um, I think it's going to be like, you know, four to one or maybe four to two. Maybe. And what about the, the what about uh, you know, core, uh, semifinals after this? I, I think you're right. I think it's going to be Milwaukee versus Boston and, and, and uh, well, Three. Milwaukee versus Philly. It's going to be Milwaukee versus Philly and Toronto versus Boston. I think. And I think. If, well, if it, no. If, if the, if the way it is, it would be Boston against Milwaukee, and then it would be Philly against Toronto. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Um, and I, like I said, I I see Milwaukee. The thing with Milwaukee is that they're streaky. Like they have really good length, yeah. good defense, but they're streaky. Because if you take the Greek freak out of there, yeah, they're not that yeah. good. And no, so, the, the thing that gets me with them is they're unproven. I, I like to see it. You know, Kyrie's a champion. So that, to me, teeters me over to Boston. And and when you're playing in Boston in a seven-game series, it's a whole different game. Even yeah. though Milwaukee got the, the I agree. field advantage, mm -hmm. you're playing in Boston, it's a whole other level. This ain't Milwaukee, son. I, this it'll be ain't Milwaukee, season. son. But I, I still feel Milwaukee will, can be Boston because of their links. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, and I, um, and then like, <laughs> as far as Toronto and Philly, like no lie, I feel like Toronto has a very good chance of also being the Eastern yeah. Conference. Um, to me, it would not surprise me if it was Boston and Toronto in the Eastern Conference Finals. It would not be surprising at all. And honestly, if it came down to that, surprise, I'm gonna pick Toronto Raptors because- You're picking Toronto, I'm picking yeah. Boston. I'm thinking Boston. I feel too, like Kyrie way. Irving. If you shut down Kyrie Irving and Kawhi Leonard can do that because he shut down LeBron James. If you can do that, you can stop Boston. And Toronto is known for their defense. They have a very good bench. Toronto is going to go far. Honestly, my prediction. So you're picking uh, uh, Toronto as Eastern champion. I'm picking Toronto to be in the Eastern Conference Finals. Okay. As far as Milwaukee, Philly, and Boston, I feel like it's a toss up. I feel Milwaukee has more of an edge because of their, but the thing is, like you said, they have something to prove. They haven't really won yeah. in the playoffs. They so haven't proven anything to me. Philly has, <laughs> but they always lose to Boston. It, man, it, I'm going to go, woo, 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 woo. Go ahead, come on. I'm going to stick to Milwaukee. Milwaukee and Toronto right. in the Eastern Conference Finals. All right. All right, I'm picking Boston and uh, Toronto. I picked Boston to win it. All right. Then. Okay. All uh, right. Let's go ahead and move into the Western Conference. Uh, right. So so far we we have everybody who's going to be in the playoffs. That's Golden yes. State. Yeah. Uh, San Antonio, is lost. Portland, Utah, Houston, uh, LA Clippers, Denver, and Oklahoma. So uh, yeah, go ahead and take it over. Well, uh, we know the number one seed for the West is Golden State Warriors. They've right. already locked that down. They've made that very, very, very clear. Mm -hmm. um, right now. Um, Denver just lost to Portland, okay. so they face them again. If they lose again to Portland, we uh, the Houston Rockets are tied with Denver for the second seed, and since we have the tiebreaker, we get the second seed. So that's very good news for the Rockets. The Rockets need Portland Trailblazers to win. But for right now, it's Golden State Warriors, Denver Nuggets, and the second seed. You have the Rockets uh, tied with the Denver Nuggets, but they're down one game um, uh, at, at the third seed. And then in the fourth seed, you have Portland, and then right beneath them, two games below on six on, on the on the fifth seat is Utah Jazz. Then OKC, San Antonio, and the Clippers all tied. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, due to wins, uh, uh, depending on the division, right now it's OKC on sixth place, San Antonio seven plates, and LA Clippers eight plates. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel OKC is gonna gonna keep that six key, maybe perhaps get. A tie with Utah Jazz, but I believe Utah has the uh, tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm correct, I'm not really sure. I don't really watch a lot of Utah Jazz games. Um, no one does. <laughs> oh, you don't like seeing racism displayed? Oh, no right now. What? Really? Nada que what? Ver. No, not, nothing to do with the, with what we're discussing. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, liberal. Hey, liberal. Quiffy, oh Quiffy butter. God. Anyways. Uh, moving it's along. It's true. The, the thing um, got kicked for life. So right now, I see, honestly, I feel like Houston has a very good chance 
because their schedule is not that hard. They, they have a very important game on Tuesday against OKC. Mm -hmm. So if AK, OKC loses that game, then uh, yeah, I feel like we'll be in the second seed now. If they win that game, we'll probably still have a third seed. Um, and then OKC stays in the sixth seed. But uh, it's all a toss up. Uh, whoever faces Golden State, they're done. Um, right. Except, except, and you're hearing it here from me first. If Golden State faces OKC in the eighth seed, okay? Let's just say, worst case scenario, OKC loses, they go to the eighth seed, mm -hmm. all right? I feel like OKC can beat Golden State. Y'all hearing it from me first. I feel like Russell yeah. Westbrook is gonna, is gonna up his game. I feel like Paul George is gonna up his game. I feel like my whole team, because of the whole thing with Kevin Durant, and to make that loss to Kevin Durant, yeah. you know, I yeah. feel like I feel like that would be amazing. So yes, I am picking. Uh, if 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 OKC goes to AC, then yes, I feel like they'll beat the Golden State Warriors. But if it's San Antonio or LA Clippers, they're one and done. So. <laughs> one and motherfucking done. Now, here's where I say it could be an upset <laughs> as well. In if the different Nuggets. Stay in the second seed. They mm -hmm. face either OKC, San Antonio, and the Clippers. If they face any of the Clippers, I feel like they'll they'll sweep them. But if I they think face... anybody facing the Clippers will, will win. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't no, know how they're, they're in the sixth seed right now. I mean, hey, look, man. They're better than they're, they're LA's team right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're the LA team right now, you know, huh? Um, so, uh,. I feel like, yeah, they'll lose whoever LA Clippers should be done. Maybe they'll win one game. I mean, they have, they have good players. They have uh, Patrick Beverly. They have Lou Williams. Uh, they have Gondalar. I can never pronounce this fuck. Gondalarly or Gondalarly. I can't pronounce his name. Gondalari. Gondalari. I can't say his name, bro. Can't, can't. Gondalari. Uh, so Ganelari, uh, am I saying the right? Ganelari, sure. Galinari, yeah. Ganelari, whatever the fuck his name is. Okay. G, that that fool. Uh, he, uh, uh, he. They can win one game, but they're gonna be lose. Uh, if Denver faces San Antonio, or OKC, I feel like they lose. I'm saying it here now too. I feel like Popovich is not gonna let San Antonio lose to Denver Nuggets. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like Denver who? Denver what? Fuck them. So, uh, yeah, I feel like... No, I, I feel the Spurs in the playoffs, like I talked about Boston before. Yeah. Um, it's a whole other season. Forget what's hat. Who cares what seed you're in? You're now in a seven-game series. And so I, I, I give you that. Spurs, I mean, um, uh, OKC against, you know, Denver. It's a toss-up. It could go either way. You know, um, Denver will have that at home field advantage. Yeah. But all it takes is one... One run and an away game from one of these lower seeds to fucking yeah. uh, topple them. So, uh, no, no doubt. Um, but you're right. Anybody who goes up against, yeah. go, well, I'll differ with you on that. You're saying, you're saying OKC or the Spurs or, or no? You said OKC. If OKC, if, yeah, if, if they face, no one has a chance against Golden State. Let me just Man, say OKC. that right here from the outside. I'm saying right now, <laughs> Golden State, Golden State is gonna re destroy this whole conference. Um, it's just, you know, how many games it's going to take really is the question. But, you know, barring any crazy injuries, Golden State is going to gonna destroy this conference. You're telling me you know? if, if the Spurs face Golden State, you don't see an upset? Hell no. Nah. Hell to the no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Not even. No, you don't think the Spurs close. have the ability to upset, upset no. uh, okay, uh, the Golden State? Maybe with nope. Kawhi Leonard, but not, not without Kawhi Leonard. Maybe with the big three, but without the big three, hell no. Um, Get these kids, you know, Portland, sorry, Peason, Utah, y'all racist asses ain't gonna get shit. You know, Rockets, I, I think, okay, like, I think uh, Thunder and the Rockets have the best chance to maybe be any competition for Golden State, but OKC is so emotionally driven, man. Yeah. I don't know what like, you're saying. Like that's they go their, based like, on the emotion of, of they they go on the emo they, they go based yeah. on the emotion of a fucking at uh, any moment they could burn. they could burst and and just self destruct. Houston, man, look like I said about Milwaukee. They haven't shown me shit. Houston, Harden hasn't shown me shit in the playoffs. I when agree it comes with that. down to the Western Conference Finals, when it comes down 
having you're in the seventh game, sixth game, you got a chance to, to finish it. He just hasn't shown it to me, man. And so I agree. No, on that I just, aspect, I'm just not look, putting it on the Rockets, who are the yeah. biggest competition, in my opinion, to me Golden too. State. I just haven't seen him, man. And Golden State's just win, win, win. That's all they do. So in the end, I feel like Golden State, no matter who gets in the way, is just gonna what take this. What the hell is JP man. doing? You can't wait to do any of that. What? what? Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, when you have a salivating dar all over your fucking feet, oh, you know what's man. up. Um, no, but I feel like I, I feel like we don't give Utah Jazz enough credit. Utah Jazz have a good squad, man. Um, I feel like. Because right now, the way things are, if Portland faces Utah Hold Jazz... On, keep going. I have to go answer the door, but keep going. Yeah. If Portland Trailblazers answer, uh, answer the, the, the bell and um, they beat <laughs> Utah Jazz, I feel like they can they can probably face the Warriors. Let's say, for example, just for example, one through four win their first their first matchups. I feel like Golden State versus Portland Trailblazers is not going to be... Well, the thing is, with Portland Trailblazers, their main center is out. And I think that maybe if they had them, they have a chance. Ah, but man, I, honestly, we'll see. I agree with you. I feel like Houston's the best team outside of Golden State in that in that Western Conference. I see Golden State in the Houston Rockets in in, in the Western Conference. I really do. Um, and that's my hometown team. You know what I'm saying? Go Houston, you know what I'm Uh But um, yeah, they suck. No, they don't. <laughs> And I feel like I honestly feel like if you face a team several times, at some point you just have to break through. And I feel like maybe this is the year they break through. I don't have they have enough. I don't know. Tell that to the old school Utah. But I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. If they follow the game plan, let's just say for, alone. let's just say for example, uh, Houston and Golden that, State, that, uh, they're in the Western Conference Final. Couldn't do Last it. year, the whole defense was around this. Let Kevin, um, fuck, I was gonna say Kevin Garnett. Let Kevin Durant do whatever the fuck he does and just stop everybody else. And it worked. And it took him to the seventh seed. What ended up fucking with the Rockets were two things. One, they shot too many threes instead of trying to make. Uh, well, that's good, their or, game, though. Yeah, I know that's your game. But at some point, you have to try to come forward a little bit if you're not hitting shots. Tell they, that to that Tony. They lost that. They, they, Tony that's Tony. the reason. One of the reasons. Tell they lost that to Harden. And the reason, yeah, the second reason they lost was because. The refs were helping Golden State, so that's two reasons. They lost because uh, Chris Paul went down. Oh, uh, and that's that's without Chris Paul, Harden <laughs> just had to try to do So it. we'll see. I feel like I feel like because the first game is going to be between Houston Rockets, either San Antonio or LA Clippers. If they face OKC, that's a bad matchup for the Rockets. That's they what I was about to say. I was about to say, well, what's your call on Houston versus OKC? Because I feel like, damn, that one is going to be a tougher, like, like yeah, pick versus gonna be them against Golden State. Oh yeah, no doubt. Oh no, 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 no. I think Golden State is the the one to beat. But you're right. OKC is tough right now. Um, freaking uh, uh what's the name? Uh, Rush were coming off one of the crazy, like one of the best seasons for any point guard in you know in NBA history. Just triple doubles day in day out. Now they don't usually go up against a squad like every day like the Rockets. You know who are pretty good defensively, and could I wouldn't say pretty good you. defensively. I really don't think the Rockets are good defensively. Uh, I think and can out and can I, outscore you like can outscore. in an instant. Mm -hmm. So, but they'll let you back to the game. Thing. Can 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 uh, you know, um, can Paul uh, uh, no, what's his name, George? Uh, can George mm -hmm. and Westbrook pack enough of a punch to keep up with the Rockets? I don't think so. In the end, in a seven-game series, I don't think so. In a, one, in, in, a, in a regular season game, you know, one game out of the... Yeah, they got a <clears> chance, <throat> but in a seven-game series where the real shit comes out, I don't yeah. think they could keep up. Yeah. Now, barring injury, like, if Boogie Cousin gets injured for the Golden State, I still Golden State will still be in the Western Conference Final. Yeah, um, I think yeah. So. yeah. Exactly. Because people are like, oh, Golden Boogie Cousin, like, no, nah, he got injured. No, 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 no. But I feel I think... like... I feel like all all things must come to an end, and this is the motherfucking year for the Houston Rockets in that fucking run. Man, I don't know, man. And uh, Jim, James Harry Harden just got contacts. The motherfucker, it turns out he was half blind this whole time. He just got contacts. <laughs> what the fuck? He was playing at like eighty-five percent of his strength, and now he's at a hundred. No, nah, man, fuck that. Golden State wins wins the Western Conference. I feel oh. bad for you, son. Nah. Oh. I predict. Houston will win the West.
Okay. He's the winner. Well, all right. So, uh, who you got being the championship? You got uh, Milwaukee. You, uh, you're picking Milwaukee on the Eastern. You're picking Rockets in the West. Who do you got being the champion? <laughs> man. <laughs> Honestly, on, man. facing Milwaukee is bad, man. Like, when they face Houston, they shut them down bad. Oh, uh, man. We're we'll from my H Town team. We're going all, right. all the way. Gonna, wow, what a surprise! Well, <laughs> what about I got Boston? Lose? I got Boston and Golden State uh, in the finals. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say Golden State's gonna win it all. It's another fucking NBA season where we get the same crap going on. You fuckers complain about the Patriots, but here you are watching the NBA with the Golden State Warriors. Whatever. Another year. Yeah, it was nice watching the whole <laughs> I think the reason why. No, 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 no. Let me tell that stupid ass arguing game. I think the reason why people like Golden State is because they don't cheat. They actually drafted. Patriots cheated several times and got caught. Who Three likes times. Golden several State? Times. Three times. Who likes Golden State? I like Golden State. Three times. Hey, Golden State likes Golden State? I don't know. The uh, NBA fans. Hey, I'll give it to Golden State. Golden State, uh, Golden State has never cheated, in my opinion. They don't look like they've cheated. Yeah, they I know. mean, they've been helped, they've been they helped by the referees in a couple games. They just know games. how to win. They just know how to win. Yeah. But they Patriots, just pick up they, don't, they know how to cheat. They yeah, know how to fucking cheat. Even Robert Kraft, even their owner knows how to cheat. It all starts at the top. Cheaters get cheaters. Swaggy P. Yeah. All right, guys. Ass up. Kevin Durant. All That's right, guys. Thanks for watching. NBA playoff talk, playoff picture coming up. Uh, Those wishes you have that here. Fourteenth is it? The same day as Game of Thrones? Ain't nobody yes, watching. Yes, sir. Game hey, I'm watching. There I'm watching both. Be, there better be no games between eight, 8 p.m. Nine. Matter of fact, let me check that FYI. out. Let me check. <laughs> let me let, just FYI. Let me check. Let me check real quick because. Could, no, he could. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, do here, they guys. have that already? The schedules for the. Oh, uh, the they the have. I, I, yeah, but they. Just, I, I believe they don't have the scene think, though. I don't think they have the schedules yet. Because it'll uh, be the 14th. Yeah, it's the 14th. No, they don't have no, schedules. No, they don't have no schedule yet. It's fucking mother flippers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, remember, you can catch the main podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Anchor, of course, which lets us uh, distribute to all those um, platforms. Uh, we can also follow us on all the social media sites, uh, Instagram, of course, Twitter, Facebook. Um, and you can watch our live streams on twitch.tv yeah. or slash the three-way podcast. And, and sorry, guys, I haven't been there. I've been working OT trying to get this green paper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, we try to pay him more, but he said, nah, y'all good. <laughs> what the oh, look how ugly he is. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Peace. Are we done?